What's happening, everybody? Nitsan Mosri here. Oh, traveling investor. And guess what I'm doing today? I'm looking at a 90 unit portfolio in Fort Lauderdale. That's one of the buildings right there. I'll show them to you real quick here before we go into the next building. So we got this unit right here. Looks like a single family house, but it's a quad. We got that building right there, which is a 19 unit. And we got this one over here, which is a 28 unit. There was another one. So this whole building is studios. This has studios and one ones. The other one had a mix of one ones and two ones. Uh, we're in Hollywood, excuse me, not Fort Lauderdale. We're in Hollywood and uh, let me see if I can. So this lot over here is for sale. Okay, and they're building. They're building class A buildings around the corner from us over here and uh, the path of progress is very close by we're close to the beach i believe we are east of night of i-95 uh rents uh for renovated units you can put in they were saying about five thousand dollars for renovations in the units uh what was done in about seven of the 90 units were they put in f uh, faux wood flooring that was either ceramic, that either that looked like wood ceramic flooring, or they put laminate. Then they did backsplash. They put in new cabinets, small kitchens. They put in a small one of those thin, narrow stoves, four burners with the stove, uh, but with the coils on top, the coils, uh, and a small refrigerator. And uh, they renovated the bathrooms as well, the tiles, and put in a Home Depot uh, vanity and Home Depot faucets and Home Depot lights. And the backsplashes came from Home Depot. Uh, pretty much a Home Depot renovation. They said they spent $5,000 per unit. I believe that we can do it for a lot less. And uh, they said that you put in $5,000 per unit and you can get a $75 a month increase so $75 a month times 10 months is $750 plus another $150 for the extra two months to make it 12 months. So that's $900 increase on a $5,000 uh, investment. I think we can do that less than $5,000 and uh, get the fit and get the uh, $75 increase. So our return on investment could be a lot better. Now I'm going to drive. We're driving around to the next building. And what I want to do is I want to show you the area because the area is important. So you've got nice, decent areas. You've got more multifamily over here, right? Not the best looking, right? But remember, the path of progress is moving this way. And as the city and Class A buildings are being built in the area, rents are being pushed up. And if you give people good service, there's another building. If you give people good service, good amenities, right, you can charge higher rent. Plus, also, in, the, in these 90 units, uh, they are not billing back utilities, so the owner is paying for utilities. And this is a nice-looking complex, a nicer-looking complex, and you can see the cars in the parking lot are nice cars. I think I just lost my business partner. Oh, we got to make a left over here. There's another, see, there's buildings. So it's a decent area. It's not a class A neighborhood, but it's a good, solid working class company, uh, working class property neighborhood. Uh, people there, and what's nice about this property management company that's managing the asset right now is that they're very strict on their application process. So the people that they bring in, the, the residents that they bring in, they... Uh, stay because they did good background checks. So this is more of an industrial area, okay? Uh, and so when I go do my numbers, I have to check the area, the comps, to make sure that the rents that they're getting, the high rents that they're getting, are not the highest, but that we can push them even more. Uh, we want to go in and we want to be able to push rents 
we look for strong value plays, right? So we have to see now if with the current income that the property is generating currently, will that be enough to pay the new insurance, the new taxes, and the new mortgage? Is it cash flowing? We want a cash flowing property with new with the new mortgage in place, the debt service and all those, the new uh, uh, expenses on the debt side and the interest and so forth. Because if that works and it cash flows and we can still pull some money out from the property, once we do that, uh, then, the pat then the property is cash flowing. And that's what we're looking for in today's market. We're looking for properties that are strongly cash flowing currently that have strong upside and you can see they're renovating right or maybe they were close they were boarding up windows who knows but let me go back to show you the area see more units more multis good solid C to C plus area multi families right nice nice area and here we are coming up to the last property right so one of the main issues that I saw here are uh, parking. There's not a lot of parking uh, in the area for the uh, cars. So that could be an issue, but we will, they have a way of dealing with it. So we'll talk to them about it. So this is the property and you can see that there are nice sites Nice cars, nicely trimmed, and so forth. All right, this is Nitsan Mosri, the traveling investor. I will come back to you with more information once I'm done looking at this property. So until then, take care. Have a blessed day.